Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at the shortcut P which is for the piano roll. Uh, and for those of you who are unfamiliar with what the piano roll uh, is and, and does, uh, the piano roll is where all of your MIDI note data gets stored so that you can access it to edit it and uh, stuff like that. So if for example you've got like a MIDI keyboard uh, and you recorded something in, uh, your your notes will go to a region and then you can press P to access those notes. Uh, same if you're using the command K uh, musical typing to record, uh, goes to a region and then we can use the shortcut P for piano roll and see our notes as you can see here, which is great. Uh, so this means if you're like me and your playing can be a little bit ropey, it means you can make yourself sound great, which is which is excellent. Um, now, if I click out of, uh, if we just press P again to close it down, if I click into the open space here and then press P, you'll notice that in the in the actual piano roll, there are no notes. Uh, so what you need to do is actually, uh, in your arra uh, arrange window, actually click and highlight regions and then your notes will appear in your piano roll down here. If you're not seeing this, you may need to come to view, click on link, um, and, and that should link that up nicely for you. Uh, now while we're here, if your notes are not the block color of your region, it may be that you need to select your note color. Usually I have mine set to by velocity uh, so that I can see how soft or loud something is being played. Um, but for this video, it's just a bit uh, clearer for everybody if it's by region color. So on that note, uh, if I want to select more than one region across different tracks, so you can see I've got a uh, some chords and a melody here. Uh, and when I click uh, on the track, you can see the notes from the melody come up. But if I want to see both the chords and the melody in the piano roll at the same time, what I need to do is uh, select all of the regions that I want to look at, uh, or you can click on track, hold down shift, and then click on the next track. And then all of the notes will appear there. And uh, because I've got the color set by region, you can see the, the melody and the chords really nicely there. Uh, so there we go. And that, that kind of uh, sums it up really. So, um, you know, the piano roll is great. It allows you to, to delete things, to edit things, change the note length. Uh, for example, if I just decided I didn't like this note length anymore, I could drag this all the way now and it's, it's just half a, uh, half a bar long. Um, and if I wanted to duplicate, you know, I could use the command R function and repeat away like this. So really, really helpful. Um, and uh, yeah, that, that, yeah, like I said, that's about it really. It's a, it's a really simple one, but really, really incredibly useful. If you don't want to use that shortcut, you can always click the scissor tool up here. Make sure you've got piano roll set down here. But uh, I think using shortcuts is, is a really good thing. Speeds up your workflow, makes you um, more efficient. Great, so if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you wanna see more videos like this, uh, go ahead, hit that, that subscribe button uh, and you'll, you'll be notified of more videos. Uh, if you wanna drop me a question or you have a comment about uh, about the video, uh, pop one in the in the comments feed and I'll, I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, and as always, thanks for watching.